hormones okay functions of thyroid hormones the main functions of thyroid hormones can be divided into three major groups okay they are effect on growth and development effect on metabolism effect on individual systems okay now let us discuss about effect on growth and development okay growth in human beings which is intimately inter intermingled with the development or can be classified as um, physic as physical sexual and mental in physical skeletal muscular and visceral okay thyroid hormones affect all the above parameters yeah these thyroid hormones affect all the parameters okay thyroid hormones accelerate body growth particularly the growth of nervous tissue these thyroid hormones accelerates the body growth okay may particularly it shows on nervous tissue growth of nervous tissue deficiency of thyroid hormones during fetal development and childhood results poor skeletal growth sexual growth uh, doesn't occur mentally very retarded okay mm, mostly it occurs in pregnancy women mm, after the labor okay this her thyroid uh, okay and um, Uh, this thyroid hormone affects all the uh, all the growth hormones okay growth okay like physical sexual mental and in physical fine skeletal muscular and visceral okay, visceral okay thyroid hormones accelerate body growth particularly the growth of nervous tissue okay the deficiency of thyroid hormones during fetal development mostly seen during uh, fetal development and childhood results Mm, this finally results in poor skeletal growth skeletal sexual growth does not occur mentally very retarded okay on next coming to the point effects on metabolism effects on the uh, okay effects on metabolism means the thyroid hormone stimulates the metabolic activities and increases the oxygen consumption in most of the tissues of the body like brain lungs testes and retina okay thyroid hormone stimulates all the metabolic activities okay this is um, like carbon dioxide metabolism um, um lipid metabolism protein metabolism etc okay and increases the oxygen consumption it increases the oxygen consumption in most of the tissues of the body like brain lungs testes and scale retina okay now let's coming to the point general metabolism how the metabolism takes place in our body okay thyroxine increases the general metabolism the thyroxine increases the general metabolism due to this increase in basal metabolic rate due to this the thyroxine in general metabolism increase of the mona basal metabolic rate ane kuda increase aipothundi anamata and finally there is an increase in the body temperature than calorigenesis anantam the over production of heat that is calorigenesis under influence of thyroxine does not occur in all organs e temperature increase avutundi kada man body temperature which is nothing which is nothing but calorigenesis dan valla em avutundi ante ekku heat produce avatam molana thyroxine anedi అన్ని ఆర్గాన్స్ లో ఉండదు అనమాట లైక్ హార్ట్ లో లివర్ లో స్కెల్టన్ మజిల్స్ లో కిడ్నీస్ లో అనమాట బికాస్ ఇట్ షో గ్రేట్ కెలరిజెన్సీస్ ఓకే అండర్ ద ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ ఆఫ్ థైరాక్సిన్ బట్ బ్రెయిన్ అండ్ కొనాట్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎఫెక్టెడ్ ఈ థైరాక్సిన్ వల్ల బ్రెయిన్ కొనాట్స్ అనేది ఎఫెక్ట్ అవ్వవు అనమాట ద కాజెస్ ఆఫ్ కెలరిజెన్సీస్ అంటే బాడీ టెంపరేచర్ ఇంక్రీజ్ అవటం వల్ల ఏమవుతుంది అంటే థైరాక్సిన్ థైరాక్సిన్ అనేది స్టిల్ మిస్టరీ గానే ఉండిపోతుంది it was generally believed to be due to uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation it is it was generally believed to be due to uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation okay in recent years another theory was proposed with strong experimental data given below the thyroid hormones causes increase of sodium potassium atpase activity as earlier we discussed the function of sodium uh, potassium activity is to enhance pump is to enhance pumping out of the sodium 
it enhances the uh, pumping out of the sodium from interior of the cells okay from the interior of the cells and draw in and draw in of potassium to interior of the cell okay this pumping out of sodium and in of potassium required hydrolysis of atp molecule for energy okay these atp molecules are generated by oxidative phosphorylation which are coupled with electron transport chain which consumes oxygen as cells consume more oxygen to produce atp okay if this oxidative phosphorylation is coupled with electron transport chain for what purpose means um, for the hydrolysis of atp molecule for energy okay as cells consume more oxygen to produce atp more heat is given and body temperature raises here more energy oxygen cells will ekku oxygen consume chestai for what purpose means to produce atp more heat is given ATP produce after more heat is given and body temperature also rises. This phenomenon is called as calorogenic effect of thyroid hormone. Okay, now let us discuss about effect on carbohydrate metabolism. Okay, net effect on carbohydrate metabolism is increased blood sugar levels and increased glucose utilization. Okay, this carbohydrate metabolism affects mainly uh, um, to increase. blood sugar levels and increase it also increase glucose utilization okay thyroxine stimulates gluconeogenesis and glucogenolysis okay this thyroxine stimulates gluconeogenesis and glucogenolysis this leads to increase in blood sugar levels this leads to increase in the blood sugar level thyroxine also increases peripheral utilization of glucose which should lower the blood glucose level this thyroxine also increases the um, increases the peripheral utilization of glucose okay which should lower the blood glucose level thyroid hormones do not have a direct direct effect on carbohydrate metabolism thyroid hormones do not have a direct effect on carbohydrate metabolism due to the fact that thyroid hormone causes enhancement of actions of such hormones like adrenaline which powerfully which powerfully increases insulin okay this thyroid hormone do not have a direct effect on carbohydrate metabolism why because means due to the fact that thyroid hormone cause enhancement of actions such as hormones like adrenaline which powerfully increases insulin and okay increases peripheral utilization of glucose thyroid hormone stimulates glucose uh, stimulates glycolysis as well as this thyroid hormone stimulates glycolysis as well as okay this thyroid hormone stimulates glycolysis as well as oxidation metabolism of glucose via tricarboxylic acid cycle and increasing the hmp shunt pathway okay this thyroid hormone stimulates glycolysis as well as oxidation metabolism of glucose via tricarboxylic acid cycle and increasing the hmp shunt pathway okay this the calorogenesis due to the thyroid hormone is a big factor for increased peripheral utilization of glucose this calorogenesis is due to the thyroid hormone uh, it is a big factor for what purpose means for increased peripheral utilization of glucose okay next i coming to the point effect on protein metabolism Thyroid hormones acts like steroid hormones in promoting protein synthesis by acting at the transcriptional level. Thyroid hormone acts like steroid hormones in protein metabolism. Thyroid hormones acts like steroid hormones in promoting protein synthesis by the action by action of trans by at what level means transcription level. The thyroid hormone may directly increase the synthesis of growth hormone. that enhances the synthesis of proteins okay this thyroid hormone may directly synthesis so may directly increase the synthesis of growth hormone that enhances the synthesis of proteins okay finally thyroid hormones give positive nitrogen balance okay this thyroid hormone gives positive nitrogen balance and 
high concentration of thyroid triiodine thyroid thyroidine inhibits the protein synthesis okay this high concentration of triiodine inhibits the protosynthesis now let's discuss about effect on lipid metabolism lipid lipid turnover and utilization are stimulated by thyroid hormones the lipid turnover and utilization are stimulated by thyroid hormones thyroxine can enhance the um, lipo lipolytic action of adrenaline so that plasma free in fatty acids concentration rises thyroxine can enhance the lipolytic action of adrenaline hormone so that plasma free fatty acids concentration increases okay thyroxine enhances the enzyme activity of both synthesis and catabolism of cholesterol Thy thyroxine enhances the enzyme activity of both synthesis and catabolism of cholesterol now let us discuss about effect on mineral metabolism how the okay thyroxine causes loss of calcium through urine this thyro due, due to because of thyroxine um, it causes loss of calcium through urine okay thyroxine causes increased activity of sodium potassium pump system okay this thyroxine causes increased activity okay which increases the activity of sodium potassium pump system okay because these all affects mainly mainly in mental metabolism okay now let us discuss about the effects on individual system effects on individual system main first one is um, effect on cardiovascular system this is the main effect on cardiovascular system cardiac system it is used to increase the beta adrenergic receptor population for adrenaline it is used to increase in beta adrenergic receptor population for adrenaline thyroxine causes increased calcium atpase activity of myosin of myocardium this thyroxine causes increased air calcium atpase activity of myosin of myocardium okay next discuss about effects that uh, majorly takes place on central nervous system okay in the neonatal stage that means newborn baby stage up to the age of approximately 1 year normal amount of thyroxine is required up to the age of 1 year normal amount of thyroxine is required for development of nerve fibers and their myelination okay in the new newborn people a newborn up to approximately 1 year normal amount of thyroxine is required for what purpose means for the development of nerve fibers and their myelination okay in, in if sufficient thyroxine is not available at this stage the brain becomes small okay this is the major cause of underdevelopment of brain in early ages okay now effect on let us discuss about effect on skeletal muscle mm -hmm. skeletal system okay thyroxine is required for the growth of mm, mutation of epiphyseal cartilage this thyroxine is required for the growth of mutation of epiphyseal cartilage so that in the absence of this hormone linear skeletal growth does not occur okay thyroxine is required for what purpose means effect of mutation growth of mutation of epiphyseal cartilage okay mutation that takes place in epiphyseal cartilage so that in the absence of this hormone the hormone absence uh, like bottom one the linear skeletal growth anedi indilo takes jaragad anamata now let us discuss about effect on reproductive system okay lack of thyroxine in adult women of reproducing age usually cause menorrhagia that means excessive menstrual bleeding takes place lack of thyroxine in adult men of reproducing age usually cause menorrhagia okay that means excessive menstrual bleeding okay these are the overall overall overview of uh, effects on growth and development and metabolism and in the, in the individual system okay now let us discuss about abnormalities of thyroid hormones okay now let us discuss about the abnormalities of thyroid hormone among the, among the endocrine glands 
Among the endocrine glands, thyroid is most susceptible, susceptible for hypo and hyperfunction. Um, endocrine glands are not known. Thyroid are the most susceptible for both hypo and hyperfunction. Three abnormalities associated with thyroid function. Okay, hyperthyroidism. Okay, now let us discuss about hyperthyroidism. The hormones from the thyroid gland is produced in high levels. Hormones from the thyroid glands is produced in high levels. It is known as thyrotoxicosis. Hormone that uh, from the thyroid gland is produced from high levels means it is known as thyro thyrotoxicosis. Okay. Uh, effects of thyro let us discuss about effects of thyrotoxicosis. Increased levels of thyroid hormones may affect mainly basal metabolic fluid. Okay. A temporary rise of BMR may be tolerated, but sustained increase can lead to some effects on individual. Okay, those are cardiac arrhythmiasis because heart becomes overstressed. Okay, in, in this place, heart becomes very heart becomes very stressed as it um, as it tries to supply an uh, extra oxygen and nutrition to the hyperactive blood cells. Okay, mm, increased gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis from body proteins to provide energy, causing loss of body weight, muscle wasting, and weakness. Okay, mm, gluconeogenesis increase out of one another. I body proteins energy. Gluconeogenesis and a decrease out of one another. Rain provides just another. The uh, and um, which in energy valla we log body weight and a loss of the muscle waste of the arm weakness and a the was the matter excess heat production as a high product of the raised PMR. Okay, as earlier we just dis we discussed it, um, ex uh, calorogenesis. Okay, uh, a more than the excess heat production jargatam valla BMR and a the raise I put in the Physical restlessness and mental excitability due to neuron hyperactivity. Physical restlessness valla, mental excitability valla, neuron hyperactivity Now let us discuss about Graves disease. Graves disease is the autoimmune disorder in matter, uh, where individual produces autoantibodies. Okay. Um, for to wear means to receptor for thyroid stimulating hormone. This can lead to active thyroid gland and secrete high levels of thyroid hormones. We then just that active thyroid gland reaches and for what purpose means to secrete high levels of thyroid hormones. The production of thyroid hormones is carefully regulated by thyroid stimulating hormone, which is produced by pituitary gland. Okay, the production of thyroid hormones is carefully regulated. Regulation is takes place by thyroid stimulating hormone which is produced by pituitary gland okay this thyroid stimulating hormone binds on thyroid gland this thyroid stimulating hormone receptor is used to stimulate the thyroid gland for secretion of triiodothyronine and tetraiodothyronine these are in turn feed back feed backly regulate thyroid stimulating hormone secretion Okay, but in case autoimmune antibodies are thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, gamma immunoglobulin are long acting thyroid stimulators. Okay, these binds to thyroid stimulating hormone receptors and finally it stimulates the secretion of triiodothyronine and tetraiodothyronine continuously. Okay, it takes place continuously. Okay, therefore, high levels of Triiodothyronine and tetraiodothyronine, that means hyperthyroidism, can lead to increased BMR. Okay. This can lead to increased BMR. 